In this video, I'll show you how to make timelines directly within Google Sheets. So I have a Google Sheet that I filled with some Civil War battle information from Wikipedia. All my timeline events must have a start date, and the date fields must include the month, date, and year. The end date is optional, so I only have it completed where appropriate. The name of the battle and some descriptions contain links for more information. You can see the hyperlink text in blue. I've also color-coded the outcome column so it'll be easier to view outcomes at a glance in the timeline. We'll get into that in just a little bit. I also decided to add a column indicating the state where each battle took place. With all of my data gathered, it's time to create the timeline. I'll just come up here to Insert, then click Timeline. Now you can select the data you want to include. All data is selected by default, and I'm good with that for this timeline, so I'll click OK. And right away, a new tab is created for our timeline. Over in the settings pane, it looks like Google did a pretty good job matching up my data columns. We have the start and end dates. The card title will come from the battle column. Nothing selected for card detail, so I'm going to change it to description. And now let's take a look at what these cards look like before moving on to groups. I'll click on this event, and if you remember from earlier, all battles were hyperlinked to more information. And when I clicked on the battle name, it opens up that link in a new tab. Some of our battle descriptions also contain links, like this one that's in blue. These links also open in a separate tab when clicked. So let's go back to the top of our timeline and learn how to group card. In the settings panel, I'm going to come down to group by card group and change the column to state. Now the battles are grouped in the timeline by state as shown over here on the left side of the screen. If you'd like to make the setup of this activity a little easier for your students, check out this great template made by Eric Kurtz. It has a tab for directions and a sheet set up with column headings that match the timeline settings. I'll put a link in the description below.